Hi everyone, this week's toy hunt is at Target. I'm in the front dollar spot and they have some cool stuff for Valentine's Day, including these little plushy clips. They have a sloth, a frog. And they're actually nicely embroidered. There's this cute teddy bear, as well as this pink little kitty cat. They're still stocking the Valentine section, but this will be a great spot for little, little gifts. And then on a side cap in the toy section, they have some of the new Lego minifigures from Series 24. This is the newest set. Look at that T-Rex there. Oh my goodness. There's like a carrot one, an opera singer looking one. Oh, they're always a good time. And for $4.99, they're a great little mini blind bag figure. They have a lot. <laughs> and then they have a front cap of just everything you need in terms of new items including the real littles um crafts the micro crafts oh and they have the snow globe one the fizz bomb and look at they show the snow globe which is a lot bigger than a glitzy globe and it looks like they have the unicorn back here and a lot of you love these they have such a cool um caboodle themed kind of craft box which which we love and they're, they're pretty good value for $9.99. They also have some of the Shopkins Real Littles for season 17, as well as the Disney Series 2 mini brands. They have a ton of the, the mini brands, as well as the Series 3 um, toy mini brands, which that's pretty cool. We've only seen them in packs before, but they have the individual capsules now. And then they have the Series 4, food mini brands. They even have some of the new Disney Dorables for Series 9. And those are the ones that have the Cars characters. There's a lot of Pixar in the series. They also have the squish -a lots for Disney Dorables as well. So this is a great display of all the cool miniatures that are out right now. I love it. So definitely check your, your Target front caps and end caps for all these. And then this Target has finally some new Pokemon Select figures. Look at how cool. I had no idea they were going to to make these. Okay, so Typhlosion is also with a re-release Charizard and three others in that series. And then up here, they have the Growlithe set, but they also have these. Oops, oopsies. <laughs> um, it looks like they're making like little dioramas. It has such a remit vibe which these will probably go really well with Remint, but how cute is that? You get some of their geography, the, the little landscape of where the Pokemon are found, which I think is really cool and kind of true to form, especially when you play the, the game in the regions and what have you. They also have the cool little Pikachu evolution set. That one's definitely new. So yay, new, new stuff. And then in the Transformers section, there's also new Transformers. Oh, that's awesome. And these are from the new Earth Spark series, which I haven't seen. I think it's out. And there's an Alita one from Earth Spark. So that's going to be, I think, the the latest release in terms of like legacy, which I don't think went over well. But Earth Spark looks really cool. Oh, there's the Bumblebee, which is awesome. I like the artwork. It has a Prime vibe, but kind of with a retro design too. And there's the Megatron. So looking pretty cool. I've heard good things. And then look at, they have some of the Super 7 retro figures. Oh, those are nice. They have Grimlock and they have the Transformers, the movie Galvatron, which is like that gray style toy accurate Galvatron. I know there's a history behind the different color variations going on, but wow, this is such a cool set. Look at, they have like all the movie characters. Even Unicron, a Quintesson, a Sharktacon, Coronation, Starscream. Oh, these are so cool. So these don't transform or anything. They are $17.99 as a, a, a bit pricey, but all Transformer stuff <laughs> is at this point. But that is that is super tempting. And I have Mr. Birdlove here, who we know Grimlocks is his fave. And then over on the other side of the action figures, they have this new Treasure X series, which they're doing some robots, which, you know, that's cool. And then they also have Poppy, which I know is a video game. And it's sort of that borderline horror video game, kind of like Five Nights at Freddy's. And it looks interesting. They look cute. They look creepy. And that one with the teeth looks like super creepy. But I need to watch 
some channels on YouTube that maybe do a, a playthrough or something, because I'm curious. Oh, look at the little Koopling. Let me... That brings back, like, Super Mario 3 vibes. Cool Mario stuff. Glad, glad to see that. They have this new Minecraft thing. I'm not sure what that is. And then only two Fortnite items. So, again, they're still definitely restocking the action figure section. But it looks like they got a lot of new Transformers. And then on a side cap here, they have this huge Disney Store mini brands display. And look at the ones they show as a sample. They're all ones with the minifigure inside, which we all know you can get a cardboard box. So it's interesting if they even promote that with the minifigures. Why not just make them all with minifigures? Um, just, just saying, because, you know, you're not going to always find ones like that. Although I think this series has a pretty good ratio. And then in the doll section, Target now has the Monster High Creepover series, which we actually saw these at Walmart before the holidays, but it's nice to see them at Target now. They have um, a Twyla, which is just so cute. And the first Twyla doll of this re reboot, G3, they have Draculaura, which I love the cute little heart monster thing pillow. And then of course they have Claudine with Crescent. I'm not sure if it's just these three. No, there should be a Frankie. There, there should be a Frankie in this line for those four for the creepover. And then they also have the Monster High vehicle, which that looks kind of neat. It's this purple convertible with cobwebs. Next aisle over is where you'll find Magic Mixies, which this Target is definitely well stocked with the single packs, the tap cauldrons, and the color change ones, the color surprise magic cauldrons which oh they're so cute so i'm gonna go through these i opened one on my channel and i absolutely adored it and they do have codes in terms of the eye color and symbol so that way you can choose the little character you liked or if you want to be surprised just choose different eye colors to avoid doubles which i think is awesome and then they also have some rainbow corns they also have the large pack up here which that surprise figure is amazing that makes that pack in my opinion there's some new puppy corn bow surprise ones. I think those are new. And then they have the little mini bunnies. As well as the pop stars. The little live pets are doing the little egg chicks. Which would be great for, for spring. <laughs> and then this target doesn't have too much in terms of squishmallows. They have this woolly mammoth. It, he's more of like that large jumbo size one. And then it looks like this little guy which he might be some sort of dragon. He cute. And then F.A.O. Schwartz has some really cute little Valentine's plushies. These doggies have the little heart headband and it looks like you can remove it. So, you know, you can always just make it to a doggy plushie after Valentine's. And then in the Shopkins Real Little section, they have more of the season 17 packs. These are the smaller 1099 packs which are cool. And again, these are the better value if you're trying to go after the full set. They do have a couple mystery ones inside. And then again, Polly Pocket just has so many new items. Look at these little mini doll figures. And then they have more of the vehicles. That little panda one's are really cute. Okay, they have the doubles there and back. And then down here, they have a couple of the new compacts. It looks like this Target is different than my last week's Target, but they sold a, a lot of Polly Pocket stuff. They have the little llama. They have the little party dog, <laughs> which is really cute because inside it's kind of like a little zoo theme. They have some of the new LOL surprise capsules. The Sunshine Makeover, as well as the Series 2 Mini Suites. These are the little um, surprise matic ones, which I haven't opened those yet. And then they have what looks to be more new LOL OMG dolls. I kind of lose track, but I know the Sunshine Makeover series is, is one of the newest ones. And I absolutely love the colors. That is perfect for spring. Very cool. It seems like I only find three dolls. And then on an end cap here, they have more of the new Shadow High series, which I haven't seen these ones before. That one's cool with the jet white hair. And then here is the boy doll. Rex is his name. That's pretty cool. 
And again, these are on the front um, end cap of the doll aisle. I'm back home from my toy hunt. The rest of the video is the haul in case you guys want to stick around and see what I purchased. I find that I keep going back to Target because they have just restocked all the new items and are still even restocking. So I've kind of neglected Walmart. I have checked my Walmarts, but it's like nothing has changed since like before the holidays so target seems to be the place to go for new toys and stuff and speaking of new toys i absolutely love the color surprise magic mixies i've opened this little cutie <laughs> who I named Nova, and I just absolutely adore the mini plushies. I wouldn't even say they're mini, they're like mid-size. And it's super fun to do the Fizz Potion Cauldron, and they have codes based on the eye color and symbol, so that way you don't get a duplicate. So I picked up the purple eye one with the leaf. I may even pick up another one eventually. They're just so cute, and there's only six in that plushie series to collect, so it is a very doable series. And then in the dollar spot section, they had some adorable Valentine keychains. These were $2, and I picked up the frog clip. They very much remind me of the ones they had for Halloween. They have little heart cheeks, embroidery, just super cute. I think they had four different designs, so definitely a fun place to check out. And then I picked up two blind bags of the Lego minifigures from Series 24. They always have such cool creative minifigure blind bags, and this series is no different. There's a lot of fun ones, including that cool viral <laughs> inflatable t-rex suit that i just see all over like instagram and stuff it's it's a good time and speaking of t-rex mr bird love was on this toy hunt as well and we were faced with two awesome super 7 transformer retro toys and i had to get him grimlock i was so tempted to get galvatron for myself but i got mr bird love grimlock because that is his favorite autobot transformer and he's he's a good sport. I'm getting him into Transformers, which I'm excited for. And how cool is this series? They have a Quinnison, Unicron. I mean, I have rarely find these in stores, so I was really happy to, oh, there's Starscream, Coronation Starscream. Really happy to find Grimlock. Um, cool, cool, interesting sort of purple color, like the pack art. We're not gonna open this, but I will display it somewhere um, for him. These are definitely collectibles coming in at $17.99, which is a bit steep, but and they don't even transform or anything, but they're just cool. And for me, super nostalgic, and I'm just happy to get Mr. Bird Love his first Transformers. <laughs> So that'll do it for this week's toy hunt. Target is definitely the place to be for a lot of new toys. So I hope you enjoyed this video or found it useful in your own toy hunts. And I want to thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope to see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.